There are some things that, that, that can be done. There's some things that we're talking about I think we need to do. The House Majority Whip, Republican Jason Nemes, says he believes state lawmakers in Frankfurt may be open to some new legislation to help curb the violence that's afflicted Louisville in the past week. Mayor Craig Greenberg has called on lawmakers to allow Louisville to create its own gun laws and to repeal a law that requires guns seized in crimes to be auctioned off to the public. Well, it depends on what we're talking about. I mean, if you're talking about giving the, the Louisville broad-based authority to um, have a bunch of gun restrictions, that's not going to happen. One possibility could be a red flag law, which allows a judge to remove firearms from someone in a mental health crisis. But to gain support from the GOP majority, such a law would need broad protections for gun owners, Nemus says. The person who's been accused has a right to have notice of the hearing, to defend himself, to show up then I think that's something that we can we can talk about. I also spoke with the Metro Council's Republican caucus chair, Anthony Piagentini. He told me that he supports a version of a red flag law similar to what Representative Nemus described, although he noted the phrase red flag has such a loaded connotation, he's hesitant to use it. The problem is much more complicated and it's going to require all three branches of government working together. Piagentini supports a stronger witness protection program to encourage the public to help police more mental health resources to intervene before violence happens, and tougher penalties for violent offenders. For example, are they moving people from felonies to misdemeanors? When you do that, they preserve their rights to own guns. Whereas if they prosecute them as felonies, they lose their rights to own guns. Piagentini also says he's working to build a bridge between state lawmakers and Republican-controlled Frankfurt and Mayor Greenberg's office. We need to talk to each other. We need to find where we have an agreement, where we do have agreement, take action. That, he says, could result in real changes that decrease violence. Mark Vanderhoff, WLKY News.